Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Wherever you are watching from, good morning to you all, depending on the time that you're watching this video. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting this channel. Today's video, we are going to look at what you call visas in the UAE, visas in Dubai. Remember, recently we saw uh, uh, a, it's actually, I would call it a saga, or we saw what was happening in the UAE. There were a lot of deportation. Very many people were called up, called up. Those that did not have valid visas, those that had expired residence permit, those that did not have the jobs. That is the trend that is happening. Oh, that's what happened exactly. So we want to go, we want to look at what you call what is the full update or what are the updates with the visa visa requirements in the UAE or Dubai. Something that you need to know. Right now, the new amendment starting with October. For you, for someone to offer you a job in the UAE, in Dubai, Syria, in whatever emirate, he needs to give you what you call an offer letter. That is the latest information that you should know. Remember, a visa visa, a tourist visa, is not a work visa or cannot get you a job in Dubai anymore. That is the latest updates we have. So meaning that someone to offer you a job in the UAE, he needs to give you what you call an offer letter. And that offer letter must be verified or must be authenticated letter from the Ministry of Humanitarization and Emiratization. That is the ministry that is responsible for the labor and its recruitment. So that labor, that offer letter must be a verified and unauthenticated uh, offer letter, job offer. That is part of the government, or, but that is part of what you call the latest developments that we have. Remember, however, something that you didn't, you, you, do, you should know, that are you having what you call a visa visa or a work visa, having a visa visa or tourist visa does not give you a right to work anymore in the UAE. Any of the seven emirates that work up, the work, uh, make up UAE, it does not give you a right to work in the UAE. So meaning that when you are got in that kind of scenario, you are reliable to all the penalties and the legal measures that will be taken against you. That is according to the latest information that is being given out by what you call the UAE government. Still something that you need to know, when we are talking about tourist visa or visit visa, this may be depending on the duration you are going to stay in the country. Sometimes it can be for 30 days, it can be for 90 days, and it can be extended. Depending on the plan that you have, it can have what you call a single entry or it can have what you call a multiple entry, depending on your plan as a person. But something that you need to understand, a tourist visa, a work a tourist visa, um, then uh, what you call a visa visa does not give you a right to work in the UAE anymore. And anyone that is good violating the law, then will have to face what you call consequential penalties and legal, uh, what you call the legal, the, the legal action that can be taken about you. Then let us try to see what are now the latest requirements that you have. Yes, you need to, to go to the UAE or you need to visit or to have a tourist visa or visit visa in the UAE. Remember before, people would visit and find accommodation in any way. You would have what you call a dummy, a dummy, a dummy ticket that is going to return you, but it's not a real ticket. So you go, but you don't have a return ticket. But right now, the latest information that you should, first of all, you should have that ticket, a two-way and flow ticket. It should be confirmed because they will have to confirm from the airline itself that is fully paid up for you to have that visa visa. Then also, you should also have what you call a hotel booking. A hotel booking for the duration that you're going to stay in Dubai and should be verified too. Not any more of sleeping bed spaces. Not any more of sleeping wherever you want to sleep. No. Remember, we are looking at these countries, undermining, trying to analyze what is happening, what will happen. These are all global effects or aftermath that came after the pandemic. And what the achievement or the targets these Gulf countries have in 2030. 
So you're finding that to some extent in the coming years we shall see these Gulf countries, the next Euro. Why? Because they're trying to cleanse up everything that is happening. Then still also you need what you need to understand before you, get, you, you look for a visa, visa to go in Dubai. You must have what you call a back statement that has a six-month saving on it. It should have a six-month savings on it. Or if you do not have that six-month back statement, you should have that cash that is amounting to 5,000 dirhams. To show that you can sustain or you can take care of yourself when you get to the UAE. That is part the latest requirement that you're supposed to have. Yes, we may look at other requirements like the passports where you need to have the visa, you need to, to you know, all those other requirements. But these are what you call the now the genuine, these are what you call the general added requirements that you must possess before you look for a visa visa. Remember, I'm telling you all the latest updates, the visa visa. A tourist visa does not give you a right to work in the UAE. Not like it used to be before. So meaning that all these situations are going to go in what you call a hard way for you to get a visa. To get a job, you need to get an offer letter. And that offer letter, you can also check the authenticated offer letter where on the government website when it's given. I'll give you all the, the links of the government website where you can check the offer letter that's been given to you by the company. And that company must be genuine must be an existing company in Dubai because there is also a link where you can check for those companies that are genuine in Dubai. Hope I've tried to share up something for you for a person asked for that question. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. Smex from the next creation.